Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Welcome everybody here. Everybody that's here. And uh, to the people that join us by our live stream, I want to say welcome to them as well. And also the people that join us by a conference call, I would like to welcome them as well. And say to everybody, it is good to have you fellowshipping with us on this Lord's Sabbath day. And uh, and and uh, as always, we deal with a uh, a topic from the Scripture. And the title of the day's lesson is "Jesus, a Prophet Like Unto Moses." You know, Moses wrote in Deuteronomy that the Lord would raise up a prophet like unto him. Amen. And uh, that prophet would be Jesus. And we are going to show you that in this lesson. But first, uh, we're going to show you uh, a little bit about Moses. We're going to show you about his life and show you about some of the things that the Lord would have him to do. And show you as well about some of the things that the Lord said about Moses. So that you will understand that that prophet that Moses wrote about truly is Jesus. Mm -hmm. We want to begin in Exodus chapter 1. We're going to begin dealing with, uh, dealing with the life of Moses. And just show you, uh, even starting with the birth of Moses. Because there are many similarities between Moses and Jesus. More so than between Moses and any other prophet. When the Lord said, that that prophet would be like Moses, it meant just that. We're going to deal with a few things here. Start out in Exodus 1. And we will begin reading at uh, verse 15, Exodus 1. We'll pick it up at verse 15. Now, a commandment went forth from those that was ruling over Israel at that time, and we're going to read what that commandment was. Exodus 1 and verse 15. Okay, go ahead and read, bro. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, uh -huh. of which the name of the one was Shifra, and the name of the other Pua. Now, uh, Israel, they were in bondage unto the Egyptians at this time. They, uh, they actually had gone down into Egypt much many years earlier, and they had gone down there to escape the drought. But then while they were in Egypt, there rose up a Pharaoh that didn't know Joseph, and they began to afflict Israel, and they even had them in bondage. So now, uh, where did we leave off at? In uh, the 15. In the 15. Go ahead and read. And he said... When you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women uh -huh. and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then you shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Now, uh, it said, uh, you know, Pharaoh had said uh, to the midwives, uh, you know, when the children of Israel, if they're going to have a son, then you kill him. And if they would uh, have a daughter, then you can leave her alive. Go ahead and read on. But the midwives feared God uh -huh. and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men children alive. Go ahead and read. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing and have saved the men children alive? And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women. For they are lively, uh -huh. and I delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Go ahead. Therefore God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty. Uh -huh. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared God, that he made them houses. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born ye shall cast into the river, 
and every daughter ye shall save alive. Now, uh, this was a commandment that went forth from Pharaoh. Kill every son and all the daughters, you can leave them alive. Now, uh, Pharaoh, Egypt, and they had uh, Israel in bondage at this time. But now, uh, let's go over to uh, Exodus chapter 2, and we'll begin reading at verse 1. So now the commandment had gone forth. Kill all of the men children, all of the men children of Israel. And, and at this time, Moses would be born, and we're going to look at this uh, a little bit at his birth. He'll start reading at 2. And pick it up at uh, verse 1. Go ahead and read, bro. And there went a man of the house of Levi, mm -hmm. and took to wife a daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. So now, uh, this is Moses that we're reading about here. And she saw the child, it was a goodly child, and she hid him three months. Because she didn't want the child to be killed. Because the commandment had gone forth, all the men and children must be killed. All the boys... Uh, had to be killed. So now she didn't want the child to be killed, so she hid him three months. Go ahead and read on. And when she could not longer hide him, uh -huh. she took him an ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein. Uh -huh. And she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. Now, you know, she made a little ark. She's going to put the child in this little ark and she's going to send him down the river. However, uh, uh, Pharaoh's daughter will wind up with this child. This is Moses that you're reading about here. And he would be raised up in, uh, in Pharaoh's daughter house. Go ahead, continue to read. Verse 4. Uh -huh. And his sister stood afar off Go to ahead. wit what would be done to him. Mm -hmm. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river. And her maidens walked along by the river's side. Uh -huh. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. And when she had opened it, she saw the child. And behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, this is one of the Hebrews' children. Well, she understood that this is one of the Hebrews' children. Remember, now, she's an Egyptian. And the Egyptians, they have uh, Israel in bondage at this time. And when she saw the baby, she realized that was one of the Hebrew children. And she kept the child, even raised the child. Go ahead, continue reading. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, uh -huh. Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, that uh -huh. she may nurse the child for thee? Go ahead. And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. So now, this was uh, Moses' sister, which was apparently, you know, uh, older, a little older. But anyway, uh, uh, Pharaoh's daughter said unto Moses' sister, go and find me somebody to nurse the child. So uh, 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 Moses' sister went back and got his mother. Go ahead, uh, continue to read. Verse 9. Uh -huh. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Go ahead. Take this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give thee thy wages. Uh -huh. And the woman took the child and nursed it. Go ahead. And the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she called his name Moses, and she said, Because I drew him out of the water. Now, this is Moses that we're looking at. We're looking at his birth here. And he was born really in bondage. Because Israel was in bondage to the uh, Egyptians at that time. And during that time, the commandment had gone forth that all boy children of the uh, Israelites must be killed. Mm -hmm. This is Moses that we're looking at here. Because we're going we gonna to look at Moses a little bit. Because, uh, you know, Moses said this prophet would be like unto him. And I'm going to show you pretty much in every way that this prophet would be like unto Moses. So now what do we have so far here? We have Moses that was born during the time when Israel was in bondage and the commandment had gone forth that all of the boy children of the Israelites must be killed. Start reading now at uh, Exodus chapter 3. And we'll pick it up at, uh, at uh, verse 7. Exodus uh, 3 and we'll pick it up at verse 7. Now, uh, uh, Moses, he would grow, he would become a man. And uh, then he would flee out of Egypt. But after he fled from Egypt, then the Lord would call him uh, to deliver the children of Israel out of this bondage. Start reading at 3 and pick it up at uh, verse 7. 3 and 7. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said, mm -hmm. 
I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. Go ahead. And, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. Uh -huh. For I know their sorrows. Go ahead. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Now he, our Lord is saying, I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. However, he will do it by the hand of Moses. Lord is going to do it, but he's going to do it by Moses' hand as he's going to uh, commission Moses to do. Go ahead, keep reading. And to bring them up out of the land of Egypt uh -huh. unto a land, a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, uh -huh. unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now these are the people that were possessing the land at that particular time. But the Lord had already promised the land unto Abraham and unto his seed, which would be the Israelites. So now he's about to commission Moses to go and deliver the children of Israel from this bondage that they are in. Go ahead, continue to read. Verse 9. Go ahead. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, uh -huh. and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress, oppress them. Go ahead and read. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, uh -huh. that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now our Lord saying to Moses, Come Moses, I'm going to send you to Egypt that you might bring my people, even the children of Israel, from this bondage. Uh, let's go now to uh, 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 Exodus chapter 4, and we'll begin reading at verse 10. Exodus 4, and we'll pick it up at verse 10. This is what the Lord uh, uh, said unto Moses. Start reading at 4, and begin at uh, verse 10. Go ahead and read. And Moses said unto the Lord, mm -hmm. O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. So now Moses really trying to talk his way out of it, but the Lord wasn't having none of that though. <laughs> so he said, now you know I'm not eloquent, and uh, neither was I even before. But the Lord said, well no, nah, Moses, you're going to do this thing. Go ahead and read on. But I am slow of speech, uh -huh. and of a slow tongue. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto him, uh -huh. who hath made man's mouth? Go ahead. Who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, uh -huh. or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Oh, so who made mouth in the first place? I know what you do. I know what you can do and what you can't do. Who made your mouth in the first place? Didn't I, didn't I the Lord do it? Go ahead and continue reading. Now you're going to tell Moses something. I'm going to put the words in your mouth, Moses. Go ahead and read on. Now therefore go, uh -huh. and I will be with thy mouth, go ahead. and teach thee what thou shalt say. Now he said, Moses, therefore you go ahead on. And I am going to be with your mouth, and I'm going to teach you what it is you need to say. You don't need to be eloquent. You don't even, it doesn't matter if you're slow of speech. I am going to put the words in your mouth, and Moses, and I will teach you what it is that you need to say unto Pharaoh. Go ahead, continue to read. And he said, Uh huh. Oh, my Lord, go ahead. Send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. Now he says, Send, Lord, whoever you will send. Well, guess who that's going to be? That's going to be you, Moses. You're the one that I call to do this thing, and you are going to do it. Moses is still trying to get out of it. Send by whoever hand you will send by. But the Lord is going to send Moses. And as he said here, I'm going to put my words in your mouth, Moses, and I am going to teach you what it is that you need to say. Go ahead. Keep reading. 14. Go ahead. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. Uh -huh. And he said, Go ahead. Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? Uh -huh. I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. Uh -huh. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. Go ahead. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth. Uh -huh. And I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. Now he said, you're going you gonna to tell Aaron. But I'm going to put the words in your mouth, then you're going to put them in his mouth. And I am going to teach you both what it is that you need to say. So the Lord has given Moses what it is that he needs to say. Lord said, I'm going to put the words in your mouth, mm -hmm. and you're going to do what I say do. Go ahead, keep reading. And he should be thy spokesman unto the people. Uh, and Aaron, he said, will be your spokesman. But guess what, Moses? I'm going to make you a god unto Pharaoh. Go ahead and read on. And he shall be, even he should be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. And you shall be to him instead of God. In other words, you're going to speak on God's behalf, Moses. But I'm putting the words in your mouth. What you going to tell Aaron uh, to say unto the people. Let's go over to Exodus uh, chapter 7 and we'll pick it up at uh, verse 1. Exodus 7, we'll begin reading at verse 1. There's another thing that the Lord said unto Moses when he commissioned him 
to go and to deliver the children of Israel. Start reading at 7 and began reading at verse 1, 7 and 1. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Moses, mm -hmm. See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. Well, you know, it says, See, I made you a God unto Pharaoh. I don't, I don't know no other prophet he said that to. Hmm. I can't think of another. Ain't but one other prophet that, that, that was made a God. We're going to read about him a little bit later. But the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made you a God under Pharaoh, even though it's a small God, nevertheless, he said, I made you a God under right. Pharaoh, Moses. Wow. He ain't said that to none of the rest of them, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, none of them. Mm -hmm. But he said unto Moses, I have made you a God, Moses, unto Pharaoh. Keep reading. And Aaron thy brother should be thy prophet. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee. Now he said, uh, Moses, you're going to speak all that I command. You ain't coming up with nothing on your own. You are going to speak everything, Moses, that I command you to speak. Go ahead and finish that verse. And, Aaron, the, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh uh -huh. that he send the children of Israel out of his land. Now let's go over to, uh, let's go to Exodus chapter 19. And we're going to pick it up at uh, verse 1. Now the Lord would make a covenant and he had Moses uh, uh, to deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he would even bring them into the wilderness. Then the Lord is going to make this covenant with Israel and he's going to have this covenant ratified by the hand of Moses. But he's going to use Moses all the way. Mm -hmm. Start reading at uh, Exodus chapter 19 and began reading at verse 1. 19 and 1. This thing that the Lord is doing with Moses, he's dealing strictly with Moses. And he's dealing with Moses in a way that he has never dealt with a prophet before. Neither will he deal with another one after, with the exception of Jesus. Start reading at Exodus 19 and pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read, brother. In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. the same day they came they into the wilderness of Sinai. Go ahead. For they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai uh -huh. and had pitched in the wilderness. Go ahead. And there Israel camped before the mount. So now, Lord, he took Moses. Hey, now you bring them out, Moses. And you bring them into the wilderness because the Lord, by the hand of Moses, he's going to make a covenant with Israel there in the wilderness after he having delivered them out of this bondage that they were in. Go ahead, continue to read. And Moses went up unto God, uh -huh. and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Go ahead. Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. Go ahead and read. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, mm -hmm. and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Go ahead and read. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed, uh -huh. and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Now the Lord put some stipulation on this thing when he made this covenant, though. Mm -hmm. He said, will you obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant then you shall be to me above all people of the earth, because all the earth is mine. Go ahead, continue to read. Verse 6. Read it. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests uh -huh. and an holy nation. Go ahead. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Now, Lord is saying to Israel, he'll be doing this thing by the hand of Moses here, and now he's going to make this covenant, and he's going to do it uh, by the hand of Moses. He's going to even ratify this covenant by the hand of Moses. Go ahead, continue reading though. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people uh -huh. and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. Go ahead and read. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord hath spoken we will do. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. Now, Lord, so I'm coming unto you, Moses, even in a thick cloud that the people might hear when I speak with thee, because the Lord going to speak with Moses. And he even going to speak with him mouth to mouth and face to face. Go ahead, keep reading. And Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, uh -huh. and let them wash their clothes. Go ahead. And be ready against the third day. Uh -huh. For the third day the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. Now the Lord is saying, Moses, you know you get the people ready, Moses. Even tell them don't come at their wives. Because I am going to come down on this Mount Sinai and I'm going to speak to the people. But the Lord, he's going to speak so that all the people there will hear him. But he's going to deal with Moses face to face, even mouth to mouth. Uh, what verse are we? Verse 12. 11. Skip down now to uh, 
Skip down now to uh, uh, verse 16. Go ahead and read. And it came to pass on the third day in the mm -hmm. morning mm -hmm. that there were thunderings and lightnings. Go ahead. And a thick cloud upon the mount. Uh -huh. And the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud. Go ahead. So that all the people that was in the camp trembled. So now, you know, all of them, they're going to hear the voice of the Lord and they listen at this trumpet and it's loud. And now all of the people that was there in the camp, they trembled. Because all of the people, they were afraid. When they heard the voice of the Lord, and they're going to say to Moses, we don't want to hear this voice ever again, mm -hmm. Moses. You speak to us from now on, but we don't ever want to hear this voice again. But all the people that was there, they trembled even. Go ahead and read on. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God. Uh -huh. And they stood at the nether part of the mount. Go ahead. And Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke, uh -huh. because the Lord descended upon it in fire. Now the Lord came this time. You can imagine when he returned this second time. <laughs> And stand on the mount. The book talk about the mount just splitting out. Mm -hmm. You know, just splitting. Right now, even when he came, I said peaceably. Right. <laughs> the mountain trembled and all the people were afraid. Now, when he come back as king of kings and lord of lords to make war, because he's going to do that. Mm -hmm. And he's going to stand on a mountain too. You can imagine how that will be. Go ahead, read on. Middle of 18. Read it. And the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, uh -huh. and the whole mount quaked greatly. Go ahead. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, uh -huh. Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. Go ahead and read. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai uh -huh. on the top of the mount. And the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mount, uh -huh. and Moses went up. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go down. Charge the people, lest they break through unto the Lord to gaze, and many of them perish. Go ahead and read. And let the priests also, which come near to the Lord, sanctify themselves, lest the Lord break forth upon them. Uh -huh. And Moses said unto the Lord, The people cannot come up to the Mount Sinai, up to Mount Sinai. Uh -huh. For thou chargest us, saying, Set bounds about the mount, and sanctify it. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto him, uh -huh. Away, get thee down, and thou shalt come up, thou and and Aaron with thee. Uh -huh. But let not the priest and the people break through to come up unto them, Lord, uh -huh. lest he break forth upon them. Go ahead and so read. So Moses went down unto, unto the people and spake unto them. So now, you know, Lord, he didn't call Mo up, uh, Moses up in the mouth, but he only going to deal with Moses mouth to mouth and face to face. But now let's go, uh, let's go over to uh, uh, Exodus chapter 24 and we'll pick it up at verse 1. Now, you know, Lord, he's making this covenant, and the people have said all that the Lord has spoken, we will do, and we will be obedient. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord is going to ratify this covenant by the hand of Moses, even using the blood of Adam. Ratify, by that I mean make it binding. Mm -hmm. But he's going to do it by the hand of Moses, and, and, and with the blood of the animals, the Lord is going to do this thing. This became known, by the way, as the old covenant. Start reading at... Uh, 24 and pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. And he said unto Moses, mm -hmm. Come up unto the Lord, thou and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, Go ahead. and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. Go ahead and read. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, uh -huh. but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. Now he said, only, you say, y'all come up, but only Moses can come near unto the Lord. Only Moses, because he's going to deal with Moses face to face and mouth to mouth. He's going to let you know that. Go ahead and read, which he ain't done with no other prophet, and neither will he do it with another prophet other than Jesus. Go ahead, keep reading. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord uh -huh. and all the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice and said, Go ahead. All the words which the Lord hath said will we do. Uh -huh. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord. And rose up early in the morning and built it an altar under the hill uh -huh. and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Go ahead and read. And he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. Uh -huh. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, all that the Lord hath said will we do and be obedient. Now, the covenant is being ratified now, and the Lord is doing it by the hand of Moses, and he's doing it with the blood of animals, because the covenant is not enforced until something dies. Mm -hmm. Now, Moses is ratifying this covenant, and he's doing it with the blood of the, uh, uh, the animals. Go ahead and read on. Verse 8. 
Read it. And Moses took the blood uh -huh. and sprinkled it on the people and said, Go ahead. Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. So now I want you to skip down to uh, 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 verse 12. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. Come up to me into the mount and Go be ahead. there. And I will give thee tables of stone and a law and commandments which I have written that thou mayest teach them. Now he said, Moses, I'm going to give you these commandments. And a law which I have written. Because the Lord wrote these laws on two tables of stone. Mm -hmm. And he gave them unto Moses. And Moses' uh, uh, responsibility was to give them unto the people. So now he said, Moses, I'm going to give them unto you these commandments that I have written. That you may uh, go and teach the people the commandments that I have given you. Go ahead and read on. And Moses rose up and his minister Joshua. Uh -huh. And Moses went up into the mountain of, mount of God. Go ahead and read. And he said unto the elders, uh -huh. Tear ye here for us until we come again unto you. Go ahead. And behold, Aaron and her are with you. If any man have any matters to do, let him come with unto them. So now Moses was going up to be with the Lord. He was going to be there 40 days. So now if you have any problems, then I got Aaron and I got her there with you. Let them take care of it. Because Moses will be gone for 40 days and 40 nights. Go ahead and read on. 15. Read. And Moses went up into the mount, uh -huh. and a cloud covered the mount. Go ahead and read. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai, uh -huh. and the cloud covered it six days. Go ahead. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. Uh -huh. And the sight of the cloud of the Lord was like devouring fire on the top of the mount uh -huh. in the eyes of the children of Israel. Go ahead and read. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. So now, you know, Moses have gone up uh, 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 in this mountain. Now, Lord have given him commandments here. And, and, and Moses' job, he was supposed to uh, teach them unto Israel. Start reading at uh, 25 and pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering. Uh -huh. Of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart, ye shall take my offering. Go ahead and read. And this is the offering which ye shall take of them, uh -huh. gold and silver and brass. So now, we don't need to bother reading all that. So now, Lord is getting ready to build his tabernacle that he may dwell among the children of Israel, but he will do it by the hand of Moses. Skip down to uh, verse 8. Go ahead and read. And let them make me a sanctuary. Now he said, now he, and he, he, you know, he told Moses, let them bring up the offering. And bring all of this offering that they might make me a sanctuary that I might dwell among them. But he's commissioned Moses to do this. Go ahead, continue reason. That I might dwell among them. Uh -huh. According to all that I show thee. Go ahead. After the pattern of the tabernacle uh -huh. and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, Go ahead. even so shall you make it. Now he said, I want you to make me this tabernacle, Moses, that I might dwell among the people. According to the pattern that I will show thee. Skip down uh, to uh, verse 40. Even the pattern of the tabernacle, that I, uh, pattern that I show you in the mouth. Go ahead and read on. And look that thou make them after their pattern. Now he told them all the stuff that he wanted to make. We don't need to read all that. And he said, look that you make them after the pattern. Go ahead and read on. Which was showed thee in the mount. Which was shown unto thee in the mount. So now he commissioned Moses to even to build a tabernacle that the Lord might dwell among them. And he's doing it by the hand of Moses. Let's go now to, uh, let's go now to uh, 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 Exodus chapter 31. And we'll pick it up. At uh, verse 18, then the Lord would give Moses further instructions as to what he wanted Moses to do. Start reading at Exodus 31 and began reading at verse 1. 31, uh, not, not 31 and 1, 31 and 18. 31 and 18. Okay, go ahead and read. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communing with him uh -huh. upon Mount Sinai. Go ahead. Two tables of testimony, uh -huh. tables of stone. Written with the finger of God. So now he's given to Moses these two uh, tables of testimony, which is the commandments. And they were even written with the finger of God. He gave them unto Moses. Moses was supposed to uh, uh, deliver them unto the people. Go uh, 32 and pick it up at verse 1. While Moses was in the mountain, Israel pressured Aaron into making them a God. Mm. And then they even started to serve this 
golden calf that they pressured Aaron into making. Pick it up at 32 and 1. Go ahead and read. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, uh -huh. the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron go and ahead. said unto him, uh -huh. Up. Make us gods which shall go before us. Go ahead. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. we know not what is become of him. So, you know, Moses is gone about 40 days and 40 nights. And then Israel said, we don't know what didn't happen to this Moses. Aaron, you make us some gods that they might deliver us. We ain't going to bother reading the rest of that. Let's go over to uh, 33 and we'll pick it up at... Uh, at uh, 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 Verse 33 and verse 1. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Moses, mm -hmm. Depart and go up hence, thou and the people which thou hast brought up out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. Unto the land which I swear unto Abraham, uh -huh. to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, uh -huh. Unto thy seed will I give it. So now the Lord saying, uh, uh, you know, Moses, I want you to go up and, uh, you know, uh, and... and to the land that I swear unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go ahead and read on. And I will send an angel before thee, uh -huh. and I will drive out the Canaanite, Go the, ahead. the Amorite, and the Hittite, uh -huh. and the Perizzite, Go ahead. the Hivite, and the Jebusite. So now, uh, uh, you know, Israel, meanwhile, they sent it. Because they done built, the, they done had Aaron to, to make them this God, and they done started to serve this God. Mm -hmm. And the Lord wasn't happy. He's going to tell Mo, you need to get back down there and check on them people. Go ahead and read on. Three. Go ahead. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Uh-huh. For I will not go up in the midst of thee. Go ahead. For thou art a stiff-necked people. Uh-huh. Lest I consume thee in the way. See what the Lord said. You know, I ain't going up in the midst of these people because they're stiff-necked people. At least I consume them somewhere in the way. Because, you know, they just started to do all of this stuff that the Lord said mm -hmm. that they were not supposed to do. Right. So now the Lord said, I ain't going up in them. At least I consume them in the way. So the Lord going to have them... Uh, uh, Moses to move the tabernacle out of the camp. Because Lord had them build a tabernacle within the camp. But now because the Lord, what Israel had already done, he said, now look Moses, you had to move the tabernacle out of the camp. These I consume these people in the way because they're stiff-necked people. Go ahead and read on. Verse 4. Go ahead and read. And when the people heard these evil tidings, uh -huh. they mourned. Go ahead. And no man did put on his ornaments. Uh -huh. For the Lord has said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. ye are a stiff-necked people. Go ahead. I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment uh -huh. and consume thee. Go ahead. Say, now look what the Lord said. I'm going to come up. You know, you got to do something about these people here. At least I come up in the midst and consume them in one minute. You know, you may have been there yourself when you're dealing with your children. Mm -hmm. You know, it impresses you to the point you ready to do something to them. And that's what the Lord was about ready to do to Israel. He said, so now, just uh, 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 Moses, what you need to do is just Move the tabernacle out of the camp. These I consume these people. Go ahead and read them. Therefore now put off thy ornaments from thee, uh -huh. that I may know what to do unto thee. Go ahead and read. And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments by the Mount Horeb. Uh -huh. And Moses took the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp. Go ahead. Afar off from the camp and called it the tabernacle of the congregation. So then Moses took the tabernacle and he pitched it without the camp, afar off from the camp even. Go ahead and read on. And it came to pass uh -huh. that everyone which sought the Lord went out unto the tabernacle of the congregation, which was without the camp. Go ahead. And it came to pass when Moses went out unto the tabernacle that all the people rose up and stood every man at his tent door uh -huh. and looked after Moses until he was gone into the tabernacle. Go ahead and read. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillow descended. And stood at the door of the tabernacle, and the Lord talked with Moses. And then now, Lord, he's talking with Moses here. And he's going to even do it face to face, even mouth to mouth, as the book going to tell you, which he didn't do with no other prophet other than Jesus. And we're going to read that in a little bit, because truly, uh, this prophet that would come up, he would truly be like Moses, really pretty much in every sense of the word. Go ahead, continue read. Verse 10. Go ahead and read. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. Uh-huh. And all the people rose up and worshiped every man in his tent door. Uh-huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face. And look what it said. And the Lord even spake unto Moses face to face. Now, he's dealing with Moses' face. Because he done told the rest of them, y'all don't come up. Mm -hmm. Let Moses come up. And I'm going to talk to him. And I'm going to even talk to him even face to face. And the Lord is dealing with Moses here. 
even face to face. Go ahead, key read. As a man speaketh unto his friend. Uh huh. And he turned again into the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. Skip down to uh, verse 18. Go ahead and read. And he said, uh -huh. I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Uh -huh. Now Moses asked the Lord, Lord, show me your glory even. Go ahead and read on. And he said, I will make, a, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, uh -huh. and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. Go ahead. And will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, uh -huh. and will show mercy on, him, on whom I will show mercy. Go ahead and read. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, uh -huh. for there should no man see me and live. So now he said, I ain't going to show you my face. However, the Lord is going to show himself to Moses, though. But he said, I ain't going to show you my face. No man can see my face and live. Go ahead and read on. And the Lord said, uh -huh. Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, while my glory passeth by, mm -hmm. that I will put thee in the cliff of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. Go ahead and read. And I will take away mine hand, uh -huh. and thou shalt see my back parts. Now he said, Mo, I'm going to put you in the cliff. I'm going to put my hand over you so you don't see my face. Then I'm going to take away my hand so that you might see my back part. Go ahead and read on. But my face shall not be seen. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first. Go ahead. And I will write upon these tables the words that the words that were in the first tables which thou breakest. So now, you know, uh, now the Lord, Moses broke the first one. Because when he came down and Israel was serving this calf, then he threw those two tables down and he broke them. So now the Lord is saying unto Moses, Hew thee two more tables and come up, and I am going to give you the same commandments, write them same commandments on these tables that I wrote on the other tables. What verse are? Verse 2. Go ahead and read. And be ready in the morning, uh -huh. and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, Go ahead. and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. Uh -huh. And no man should come up with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount. Uh -huh. Neither let the flocks nor herds feed before that mount. Go ahead. And he hewed two tables of stone like unto the first. Uh -huh. And Moses rose up early in the morning, and went up unto Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, Go ahead. and took in his hand the two tables of stone. Uh -huh. And the Lord descended in the cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And then the Lord came now in the cloud, and he stood with Moses there, and he proclaimed the name of the Lord. Go ahead and read. And the Lord passed by before him, uh -huh. and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, uh -huh. keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, uh -huh. and that will by no means clear the guilty. So now that is good. So now Lord is dealing with Moses here. That is who he is dealing with here. You know, others, they had them to come up, but he's only dealing with Moses face to face. Let's go over to Numbers chapter 12. And we'll pick it up at... Uh, Numbers chapter 12, and we began reading at uh, verse 1. Numbers 12 and 1. Okay, go ahead and read. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman mm -hmm. whom he had married. So now you know Moses had married the Ethiopian woman. So now Miriam and Aaron, they spake against him. Go ahead and read on. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. Uh-huh. And they said, Uh-huh. Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Go ahead. Hath he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. So now you have, have, have this is what they say. Hath the Lord only spoken by Moses? Didn't he speak about us as well? And the Lord heard that thing. Go ahead and read on. Now the man Moses was very meek uh -huh. above all men which were upon the face of the earth. Go ahead and read. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron uh -huh. and unto Miriam. Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. Go ahead. And they three came out. So now the Lord and called all three of them out into the tabernacle of the congregation. He's going to let them know something about uh, Moses. Go ahead and read on. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud uh -huh. and stood in the door of the tabernacle Go ahead. and called Aaron and Miriam. Uh -huh. And they both came forth. Go ahead and, read. and he said, Hear now my words. Mm -hmm. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision uh -huh. and will speak unto him in a dream. Now he said, if there be a prophet among you, I the Lord, I'm going to make myself known unto him in a vision and I will even speak unto him in a dream. And he said, my servant Moses, he ain't like that. 
I deal with him in an altogether different way. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell them how he deals with Moses. Go ahead and read on. My servant Moses is not so. My servant Moses is not so. I deal with the other prophets in a vision and in a dream, but with my servant Moses, it is not so. Go ahead and read on. Who is faithful in all my house. And Moses is faithful in all of my house. In other words, he's a proven man. He is faithful in all of my house. Go ahead and read on. With him will I speak mouth to mouth. With him, the Lord said, I speak mouth to mouth. I don't deal with the other, the other prophets as such. But with Moses, I even speak mouth to mouth. Go ahead and read on. Even apparently and not in dark speeches. And apparently and not even in dark speeches. Go ahead and read. In the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Mm -hmm. Wherefore then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? So now Moses, the Lord just letting them know that, you know, I don't deal with Moses like I deal with the others. I deal with them in a vision and in a dream. However, my servant Moses... I deal with him mouth to mouth. Mm -hmm. So I let you know, Lord deal with Moses in a different way than he deal with the other prophets. Go ahead and read. We ain't really dealing with this today, but go ahead and read it anyway. We got time. Go ahead and read. Verse nine. Read. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them and mm -hmm. he departed. So now, then the Lord got angry at Miriam and Aaron and he departed from them. Go ahead and read on. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. Uh -huh. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. Go ahead. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Uh -huh. And Aaron said unto Moses, Go ahead. Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly, uh -huh. and wherein we have sinned. Well, I guess so. After the Lord laid that leprosy up on uh, Miriam, now they realize, you know, we made a mistake here. Right. We should not have spoken against Moses. So now the Lord laid this uh, leprosy up on her. Go ahead and read on. Let her not be as one dead, uh -huh. of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Go ahead and read. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, uh -huh. I beseech thee. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Moses, as his matter is, he always ready uh, to intercede on somebody's behalf. And he interceded on Mary's behalf. But the Lord said unto him, say, look here, if her father had been uh, spit in her face, wouldn't she be ashamed at least for seven days? Go ahead and read on. Let her be shut out from the camp seven days. So now just put her out the camp even for seven days. Go ahead and read. And after that, let her be received in again. Uh huh. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days. Go ahead. And the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. Uh huh. And afterward, the people removed from Hazaroth and pitched in the wilderness of Paran. So now my point is in dealing with this here, that uh, 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 the Lord said of Moses, you know, my other servants, I deal with them in a vision and in a dream, but not so with Moses. Mm -hmm. I deal with him face to face. I don't deal with the other prophets same way I deal with Moses. Right. I deal with Moses even face to face and mouth to mouth. That is how I deal with him. Lord do a thing different with Moses than he do with any of other prophets that came on the scene. Let's start reading here now at, uh, start reading at uh, 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 Deuteronomy chapter 34. And we'll pick it up at verse 10. Deuteronomy 34. And we we'll began reading at verse 10. 34 and 10. Okay, brother, go ahead and read. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. See what it said? There did not arise another prophet in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew even face to face. Lord, he told me, I deal with Moses face to face. I don't mm -hmm. deal with the rest of them like that. I deal with them in a vision and in a dream. But I deal with Moses face to face. And he said, there had not risen a prophet in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord dealt with face to face. Go ahead and read on. In all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt. And then the Lord used Moses to do all these signs and wonders in the land. He didn't do that with no other prophet. Even after Moses, he didn't do it with no other mm -hmm. prophet. And even after Moses, he didn't deal with another prophet face to face. Until you got to Jesus, because Jesus is a prophet. Don't nobody tell you about that. Right. But he is that. He's going to tell you himself. But go ahead, key read. 
to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. Go ahead and read. And in all that mighty hand uh -huh. and in all that great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. So now if there has not risen a prophet in saying Israel that the Lord dealt with face to face like he had dealt with Moses. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to uh, let's go over to uh, 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 Deuteronomy chapter 18. Because the Lord going to tell uh, how Moses said to the people, that he's going to raise up a prophet uh, 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 like unto me. Start reading at uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18 and began reading at verse uh, uh, 15. Because the Lord uh, uh, did some things with Moses, said some things uh, to Moses that, that he had not done with any other prophet or said of any other prophet. Start reading at... Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 18, began reading at verse 15. Go ahead and read, brother. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet uh -huh. from the midst of thee. Now, uh, 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 Lord, having Moses uh, to say to the people, the Lord your God going to raise up unto uh, you a prophet, even from the midst of you, Israel. Go ahead and read. Of thy brethren. Even of thy brethren, meaning that he would be an Israelite. So if any, if, if any other prophet come along claiming to be this prophet, mm -hmm. number one, he got to be an Israelite. Right. First thing, because right. Lord said, of thy brethren he will be. Go ahead and read on. Like unto me. And he said, he will be like unto me. Go ahead and read on. Unto him ye shall hearken. And, he, and, and the Lord said, of this prophet, Moses said, like unto me, unto him you shall listen. Because the Lord put his words in Moses' mouth. Mm -hmm. He told you he was going to do that. When Moses tried to talk his way out of it. Lord said, Lord said to Moses, I'm going to put your, my words, Moses, in your mouth. And you're going to speak what I command you to speak. Right. So now, uh, Moses is saying here, Lord your God going to raise up a prophet like unto me from the midst of your brethren. And like unto me. Unto him you shall listen. Go ahead and read on. Verse 16. Uh huh. According to all that thou desirest of the Lord thy God in Horeb. According to all that the Lord desireth of your God in Horeb. Go ahead and read on. In the day of the assembly. Uh huh. Saying. Go ahead. Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God. Uh huh. Neither let me see this great fire any more. Go ahead. That I die not. So you remember Israel said that when the Lord right. came down and stood on the Mount Sinai even in a fire. And the people, they trembled and they got scared. And they said, we don't want to ever hear this voice again. Moses, you speak to us, but don't ever let us hear this voice again. So now Moses said, unto all that you said concern me in, in the Horeb. Go ahead and read on. And the Lord said unto me. Go ahead. They have well spoken that which they have spoken. Go ahead and read. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, uh -huh. like unto thee. He said, I'm going to raise them up a prophet, Moses, like unto you, Moses, from their brethren. Go ahead and read on. And will put my words in his mouth. And I am going to put my words in his mouth. Then the Lord put his words in Moses' mm -hmm. mouth. He said, I'm going to put my words in your mouth. And you're going to teach what I command you to teach. So just as the Lord put his words in Moses' mouth. He said, I'm going to put my words in this prophet's mouth as well. And he only going to speak what I command him. Go ahead and read on. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Go ahead and read. And it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. That whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name. And then it will come to pass. Whosoever will not listen unto these words, that this prophet will speak in my name. I'm going to tell you right now, this prophet is Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus told you, I came in the name of my father. Right. And what I came with, it was not my message. It was the message that the father has given unto me. So Jesus came in the name of the Father. That's whose name he came in. Go ahead, keep read. I will require it of him. And whosoever do not listen unto these words that this prophet will speak, I will require it of him. Go ahead and read on. But the prophet. Well, that is good. So now, you have this prophet that Moses said the Lord will raise up from the midst of his brethren like unto him, you shall listen. And I'm going to put my words in this prophet's name, uh, mouth. And he's only going to speak what I command him. And who do not listen to this prophet, then I will require them. If you don't know who this prophet is, you better find out. Mm -hmm. 
Because the Lord said, if you don't listen to this prophet, I am going to require it of you. Let's go over to, uh, let's go over now to, uh, let's go over now to uh, John chapter 1. And we're going to pick it up at uh, verse 1, John 1 and 1. Because by this time, many prophets had risen in Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, Jeremiah, Isaiah, and Ezekiel, and, and Micah, and all the rest of them had risen in Israel, but they were still waiting on that prophet that Moses wrote about because he had not come along because that prophet would be different than the other prophets. They all, all the true prophets, they came with the word of God all right. But it would be something about that prophet that would be different. He would be like unto Moses for one. In many ways he would be like unto Moses. But in spite of all the prophets that had risen in Israel, they were still waiting on that prophet. I'm going to show you something. Start reading at John chapter 1. And pick it up at verse 1. John 1 and 1. Because that's prophet is Jesus, people. And I'm going to just show you some of the similarities between Jesus and between Moses. Start reading at uh, 1 and 1. Go ahead and read. In the beginning was the Word. Uh -huh. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. You know who this Word is that was with God and that was God? Jesus. Jesus, that prophet people that he wrote about. I, you know, we read where uh, the Lord told Moses, you're going to be unto Pharaoh a God mm -hmm. and Aaron going to be unto you as a prophet. Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't know no other prophet that was given the title of God, not supreme like Jesus. Mm -hmm. But I don't know any other prophet that the Lord even referred to as God. In any sense of the word. Mm -hmm. But he said it of Moses. And now we know that Jesus is the true and living God. He is one of the members of the Godhead. Go ahead. Keep reading. Verse 2. Go ahead and read. The same was in the beginning with God. Go ahead and read. All things were made by him. Uh -huh. And without him was not anything made that was made. Go ahead and read. In him was life. Uh -huh. And the life was the light of men. Go ahead and read. And the light shineth in darkness. Uh -huh. And the darkness comprehended it not. Go ahead. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Then the Lord sent a man whose name was John. He was not that prophet. But he would be the forerunner. Of that prophet. Go ahead and read on. The same came for a witness uh -huh. to bear witness of the light. Go ahead. That all men through him might believe. Go ahead and read. He was not that light, uh -huh. but was sent to bear witness of that light. Well, light was Jesus. He came to give light of the knowledge of God. That is the light. Go ahead and read on. That was the true light, uh -huh. which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Go ahead and read. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, uh -huh. and the world knew him not. Well, this again, this is Jesus. He was in the world, he made the world, the world didn't know who he was. Go ahead and read on. He came unto his own, uh -huh. but his own received him not. And then when he came unto his own, his own even rejected him, meaning Israel. Came to Israel, they rejected him, and pretty much the whole world rejected him as well. But first he came to his own. His own did not receive him. Go ahead and read on. But as many as received him, uh -huh. to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even them that believe on his name. And for those that did receive him and that would receive him, he gave them power to become the sons of God, even those that would believe on his name. And that even applies even to this day. If you believe on his name, in other words, if you believe in the message and, and obey the message that he came with, then you have been given power to become the sons of God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, keep reading. 13. Read it. Which were born not of blood, uh -huh. nor of the will of the flesh, Go ahead. nor of the will of man, uh -huh. but of God. Well, that's when you, you know, we're hoping to be born of God, and that is when you will become a son of God, but that's a different message than we are dealing with today. Go ahead, keep reading. And the word was made flesh uh -huh. and dwelt among us. Go ahead. And we beheld his glory. Go ahead. The glories of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So now this word that was with God and that was God, that was Jesus, was made flesh, dwelt among us. 
we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Skip down to uh, skip down now to uh, 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 verse uh, verse uh, uh, nineteen. Go ahead and read. And this is the record of John. Now this is the record of John here. Cause they're gonna send uh, and ask John some questions. Who are you, John? You know, you come and you baptize folks. Who are you? Go ahead and read. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, uh -huh. who art thou? When the Jews, they sent priests and Levites to ask John, well, John, who are you? Go ahead and read. And he confessed uh -huh. and, dis and denied not. Go ahead. But confessed, uh -huh. I am not the Christ. I'm not the Christ. I'm not the Messiah because they were waiting on the Messiah. They were waiting on that prophet. They was waiting on Elijah one uh, uh, that uh, Elijah to come. Because the book says Elijah had to come before that great and terrible day. So they were waiting on this Elijah. They were waiting on this prophet. And they was waiting on the Messiah as well. So John confessed, I'm not the Christ. I'm not the Messiah. Go ahead and read on. 21. Go ahead and read. And they asked him, uh -huh. what then? Art thou Elijah? Well, they asked him then, what then? Are you Elijah? Go ahead and read. And he saith, uh -huh. I am not. And John said, no, I'm not. Even though in another scripture, Jesus said he was. But he lied. But but John just knew he was sent to do a certain thing. Mm -hmm. He didn't realize that he was come in the spirit of Elijah. But now he said, "No, I am not Elijah either." Go ahead and read on. Art thou that prophet? Well, then are you that prophet? So they were still waiting on this prophet, mm -hmm. the one that Moses spoke about all the way back in Deuteronomy. Even though many prophets had arisen in Israel at this time, but they understood. That neither one of them was that prophet that Moses spoke about. They said, well then, are you that prophet? Go ahead, keep reading. And he answered, no. He said, no, I'm not that prophet either. I came to bear witness of him, but I'm not him. Go ahead and read on. Then said they unto him, "Uh huh. who art thou? Who are you then, John? You baptize the folks, who are you? Go ahead and read. That we may give an answer to them that sent us. Because the Pharisees and the priests and all that, they had sent these people Try and find out who John is. Because John, he was the forerunner and he came and he baptized the folks and all of that. So they want to know when then who are you? Are you the Messiah? No. Are you Elijah? No. Are you that prophet? No. Well then who are you? Go ahead and read. What sayest thou of thyself? Go ahead and read. He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Uh -huh. Make straight the way of the Lord. As said the prophet Isaiah. So now, you know, he told you who he was. And the prophets wrote about it. Isaiah wrote about mm -hmm. it. That one would come as a forerunner unto Jesus. And John said, well, that's who I am. The one that they wrote of in Isaiah saying the one that would come to make way. The path of the Lord. Go ahead and read on. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. Uh -huh. And they asked him and said unto him. Go ahead. Why? Why baptizest thou then, if thou be not that Christ, nor Elijah, neither that prophet? Well, why are you baptizing folks then? If you ain't the Messiah, and you ain't Elijah, and you're not the prophet either, then why, why are you baptizing mm -hmm. folks? So they still waiting on this prophet here. That's why they sent and asked John, are you him? Because they realized the one that Moses had spoken of hadn't come on the scene yet, even though... Many prophets had risen in Israel. Go ahead, keep reading. John answered them, saying, uh -huh. I baptize with water. Go ahead. But there standeth one among you, uh -huh. whom ye know not. Go ahead. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me. Go ahead. Whose shoes latched I am not worthy to unloose. Now he said, I baptize with one, but there is coming one after me, whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He the one that's going to baptize you Really baptized you. Go ahead and read on. These things were done in Bathabara, uh -huh. beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. Go ahead and read. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and uh -huh. saith, Go ahead. Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And the next day, you know, he uh, see Jesus coming, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, that taketh away the, uh, the sins of the world. He's the Lamb of God. Not only is the Lamb of God, he's the Christ. That you were waiting on as well. Skip down to uh, skip down to uh, 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 verse forty. Go ahead and read. One of the two which heard John speak and followed him uh -huh. was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Go ahead. 
he first findeth his own brother Simon and uh -huh. says unto him, Go ahead. We have found the Messiah, uh -huh. which is being interpreted the Christ. Well, he is the Christ. Jesus is the Christ. He letting you know who the Christ is. <laughs> Jesus is the Christ. Because they asked him, Are you the Christ? And John said, No. Well, you are you that Elijah? John said, No. Well, then, are you that prophet? And John said again, No. Start reading here at uh, start reading at, at uh, uh, John chapter six, and we're gonna pick it up at verse one. Cause they still waiting on this prophet like unto Moses. Mm -hmm. Cause Lord, said, I'm gonna put my words in his mouth, and he's gonna speak what I command you, and you had better listen. Because if you do not listen, I will require it of you. Start reading at uh, at uh, 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 John chapter six, and pick it up at verse one. So they still. Waiting on this prophet here. You know, Jesus uh, 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 came and he did certain things. And, 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 and then they said, well, you know, he got to be the prophet. Start reading at 6. Pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, uh -huh. which is the Sea of Tiberias. Go ahead. And a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. So now, you know, Jesus, he has started doing these miracles and then these people they saw the miracles that he had done on the diseased go ahead and read on and Jesus went up into a mountain uh -huh. and there he sat with his disciples go ahead and read and the Passover a feast of the Jews was nigh uh -huh. when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him go ahead he saith unto Philip uh -huh. when shall we buy bread that these may eat go ahead and read and this he said to prove him for he himself knew what he would do so now, you know, he knew what he, he was getting ready to do a miracle. He was getting ready to feed thousands of people with a few little pieces of bread. Go ahead and read on. Philip answered him. Uh-huh. 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them. Go ahead. That every one of them may take a little. Uh-huh. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him. Uh-huh. There is a lad here which have five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? Go ahead. And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Uh -huh. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. Go ahead. And Jesus took the loaves and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples uh -huh. and the disciples to them that were set down. Go ahead. And likewise of the fishes as much as they would. Uh -huh. And when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, gather up the fragments that remain that nothing be lost. Now he done fed 5,000 people. With these two little fishes and five loaves. Five thousand people he done fed. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to say after seeing that, after seeing that miracle. You know, him healing the disease and all of that. Now he done turned around and he done did this miracle as well. Then they're going to say, well, this got to be that prophet. Go ahead and read. Thirteen. Uh-huh. Therefore they gathered them together. Go ahead. And filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Go ahead and read. Then those men which they had seen... that which had seen the miracle that Jesus did. Now, the man that saw the miracles that Jesus did, look at what they said then. Go ahead and read on. Said, this is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. This is of a truth that prophet that should, they were right. They may not have fully understood that, but they were right. But, you know, they were still looking for this prophet. That is my point. The one that Moses said would be like unto him. Let's go and look at Another thing here, let's go this time to John chapter 7. And we'll pick it up at uh, verse 16. John 7, and we'll begin reading at verse 16. 7 and 16. Okay, go ahead and read. Jesus answered them and said, uh -huh. My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. Jesus said, My doctrine is not my doctrine. It is the one that sent me. Remember Moses said of that prophet. You're right. That the Lord was going to put his words in his mouth. And he would only speak what the Lord commands him to speak. Mm -hmm. So Jesus telling you right now. You know my doctrine ain't man. This doctrine I came with it ain't man. It is the one that sent me. Somebody gave me this doctrine and they sent me. Go ahead and read on. If any man would do his will. Uh -huh. He shall know of the doctrine whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Go ahead and read. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. Uh huh. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Well, Jesus came seeking the glory of the one that sent him. 
Remember Moses said of that prophet that God would put his words in that prophet's mouth and he's only going to speak what he is commanded to speak. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is telling you right now, people, my doctrine is not mine. It is the one that sent me. Go ahead. Keep reading. Verse 19. Read. Did not Moses give you the law? Uh -huh. And yet none of you keep it the law? Uh -huh. Why go ye about to kill me? You know, Moses was a lawgiver. Mm -hmm. But then this prophet that Moses wrote about, he would be the real lawgiver. But yeah, Moses was, even though it was not Moses' law, yet Moses would deliver it unto the people. Because Lord, said, I'm going to write it on these two tables of stone, Moses. Mm -hmm. With the finger of God and Moses, you go and give it unto the people. That's why the people looked up on Moses as being the lawgiver. And Jesus himself, he said, did not Moses give you the law, yet none of you keep it? Why go you about to kill me? Go ahead and read on. Verse 20. Go ahead and read. The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil uh -huh. who goeth about to kill thee. Go ahead and read. Jesus answered and said unto them, uh -huh. I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Go ahead. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, uh -huh. not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. Go ahead. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. Uh -huh. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken. Uh -huh. Are ye angry at me? Because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. Judge not according to the appearance. Go ahead. But judge righteous judgment. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Keep it. Then says some of them. Then says some of them of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Is not is not this he of whom they seek to kill? Go ahead. But lo, he speaketh boldly, mm -hmm. and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? Howbeit we know this man whence he is. Uh -huh. But when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. Go ahead. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am. Uh -huh. I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, which ye know not. Now he said, I did not come of myself, but somebody sent me, and the one that sent me, he is true. Go ahead and read on. But I know him, uh -huh. for I am from him, and he hath sent me. See, uh, Jesus said, I know him, I am from him. And he has sent me. Go ahead and read on. Then they sought to take him, uh -huh. but no man laid hands on him because his hour was not yet come. Go ahead and read. And many of the people believed on him and said, Go ahead. When Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man hath done? Uh -huh. The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Uh -huh. Then said Jesus unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me and shall not find me. Go ahead. And where I am, thither ye cannot come. Uh -huh. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? So now, you know, so now they said, Jesus said, where I am, uh, you cannot go. And they said, where will he go? And then they said, will he kill himself? What verse out? Middle of 35. Go ahead and read. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles uh -huh. and teach the Gentiles? Go ahead and read. What manner of saying is this that he has said? Uh -huh. Ye shall seek me. And shall not find me. Go ahead and read. And where I am, thither ye cannot come. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood up, stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me uh -huh. and drink. Go ahead. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Uh -huh. But this spake he of the spirit which they believe on him should receive. Uh -huh. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given. Because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Go ahead. Many of the people, therefore, when they had when they heard this saying, uh -huh. said, Of a truth, this is the prophet. Of a truth, this is the prophet. They still looking for that prophet. You know, after they saw the miracles, then some said, with, Well, you know, this is that prophet. And then after they heard what Jesus said unto them, they said, Of a truth, this is that prophet. And they were right mm -hmm. on both accounts. Because he is that prophet. Let's start reading here at uh Let's start reading at Acts chapter 3, and we'll pick it up at verse 12. And Peter going to let you know uh, that Jesus indeed is that prophet that Moses wrote about. Start reading at Acts chapter 3, and we'll begin reading at uh, verse 12, 3 and 12, 3 and 12. Okay, go ahead and read. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, uh -huh. ye men of Israel, 
Why marvel ye at this? Uh -huh. Or why look ye so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? You know, they had healed this man. This man that was lame uh, from birth. And so they healed him. And then he asked the people, why are you looking at us as though we made this man to walk? He's going to tell you who made him walk. And then he's going to tell you about something else as well. Go ahead and read on. The God of Abraham uh -huh. and of Isaac and of Jacob. Go ahead. The God of our fathers hath glorified his son Jesus. See, he said the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he has glorified his son Jesus. Go ahead and read on. Whom ye delivered up uh -huh. and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. See, Pilate was going to let him go. He said, now you all delivered him up. And you denied him in the presence of Pilate when Pilate was determined uh, to let him go. Go ahead, key read. But ye denied the Holy One go ahead. and the just uh -huh. and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. Go ahead and read. And killed the Prince of Life, uh -huh. whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we were all witnesses. So now you killed the Prince of Life, however God raised him from the dead, and we are all witnesses to this. Go ahead and read. And his name, through faith in his name, uh -huh. hath made this man strong, whom and, ye and, see. And through his name, even faith in his name, have made this man strong. Because he's going to tell you. You know, he's talking about Jesus here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to tell you here that Jesus is that prophet that Moses told you would come. Go ahead and read on. Whom ye see and know. Uh -huh. Yea, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Go ahead and read. And now, brethren. I wot that ye through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. Now, uh, 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 Peter is saying to Peter, I hope you did this thing through ignorance, as did all of you. In other words, the thing that they did unto Jesus, he's telling them, I hope you did it through ignorance, even as all of your rulers uh, had hand in it as well. Go ahead and read on. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets, uh -huh. that Christ should suffer, he had so fulfilled. Now, the thing that God showed, by the mouth of all this prophet that the Messiah had to suffer and Jesus had fulfilled. That's, that's how the people knew, the people that really understood that he was the Messiah. That is how they knew that he was the Messiah because they had prophesied certain things that would happen to the Messiah. And who fulfilled it? Jesus fulfilled it. Go ahead and read on. Verse 19. Read it. Repent ye therefore uh -huh. and be converted Go ahead. that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Go ahead and read. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. See what he said? He will send Jesus Christ, who before was preached unto you. He's going to tell you that this Jesus is that prophet that Moses told you about him. So he's talking about Jesus here. He's letting you know the things that was done to him and the things that God did with him. Go ahead and read on. Whom the heaven must receive until the, until the times of restitution of all things. Go ahead. Which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. God spoke of him by the mouth of all of his holy prophets since the world began. Even Moses told you of him. Go ahead and read on. For Moses truly said unto the fathers. Moses said unto the fathers. What did he say unto the fathers? A Go prophet ahead, read shall on. the Lord your God raise up unto you uh, of your brethren. Go ahead. Like unto me. Him shall ye hear in whatsoever he shall say unto you. Well, who are we reading about here? We're reading about Jesus. That's what we're reading about, aren't we? So now he said, Moses told you about him. When he told you a prophet of your brethren, will the Lord raise up unto me, and unto him you shall hear. Go ahead and read on. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. And every soul that will not hear that prophet will be destroyed from among this people. Better understand who this prophet is, and you better do whatever this prophet commands you to do. Because as it was said by Moses in Deuteronomy, and as it is said here, if you don't obey that prophet, then the Lord is going to require it of you. Mm -hmm. Even said here that the Lord will destroy them from among his people. Let's go now. Now we understand who that prophet is that uh, Moses told you about. It was mm -hmm. talking about Jesus. Right. Let's go and look at some here. Let's go to uh, let's go to uh, uh, um, Luke chapter thirteen, and we'll pick it up at uh, verse thirty one. Thirteen and thirty one, because Jesus indeed was a prophet, people, not just a prophet, but he was. That prophet. 
Start reading at uh, chapter 13. Pick it up at verse 31. Okay. Go ahead and read. The same, the same day there came certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, uh -huh. Get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. So, you know, this is what they came saying to Jesus. You know, get you out, for Herod... Uh, uh, Seek to kill you. Go ahead and read on. And he said unto them, uh -huh. Go ye and tell that fox, uh -huh. Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow. Uh -huh. And the third day I should be perfected. Now he said, You go tell that fox, I'm busy. I got to do some stuff here that my father sent me to do. But he said, On the third day I will be perfected. You know what that means? Meaning he will rise from the dead on the third day. Mm -hmm. And that is when he will be uh, perfected. Because he's going to tell them, so that must be, that must not be that a prophet is not in Israel. Go ahead and read on. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow. Now he said, nevertheless, I must walk today and I must walk tomorrow as well. Go ahead, keep read. And the day following. Uh-huh. For it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. It cannot be that a prophet perish. So he letting you know he's a prophet. And not only is he a prophet, he is that prophet. That we've been reading about, that Moses even told you about, uh, uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 18, and Peter confirmed it over in Acts chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Now, just as Moses gathered the people, look at what this prophet is going to do. Go ahead, keep reading. 34. Go ahead and read. O Jerusalem, uh -huh. Jerusalem, which killeth the prophets, Go ahead and, and stone is them that are sent unto thee. Uh -huh. How often would I have gathered thy children together? Go ahead. As a hen doth gather her brood under her wings, uh -huh. and ye would not. So now Jesus is talking about gathering the people. He said, how often I would have gathered them together, but they would not. He's going to gather them. You know when he's going to gather them at his return. But just as Moses gathered the people, also Jesus will gather the people. Mm -hmm. Now, no other prophet didn't do that. Right. Moses did it the first time, and Jesus is going to do it the second time. Go ahead, keep reading. Behold, uh -huh. your house is left unto you desolate. Go ahead and read. And verily I say unto you, uh -huh. ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall, when ye shall say, Go ahead. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. That is when he's going to gather the people. In the day when they will say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Genesis chapter 49. And we'll pick it up at uh, verse 9. Because he's going to gather them. Just as Moses gathered Israel the first time, Jesus will gather them the second time. No other prophet did that. When he said like unto me, he meant like unto him. And there are other similarities that we're going to read as well. Start reading at uh, Genesis uh, 49, and we'll pick it up at uh, verse 9. 49 and 9. Okay. Okay. Well, start reading at verse one, so we'll 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 uh, understand uh, uh, who we're dealing with here. Verse nine. Go ahead and read. Verse mm -hmm. one, brother. Go ahead and read. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, uh -huh. "Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days." Now he said, "Gather yourselves together, that I might tell you what shall befall you." In the last days. Go ahead and read. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob. Uh huh. And hearken unto Israel your father. So now you know because the Lord changed Jacob's name from Jacob uh, to uh, Israel. And then his sons, they would be called Israelites. His descendants would be called Israelites. So he's dealing with uh, Israel. He's dealing with really of the nation of Israel. Skip down now to uh, verse, uh, verse 9. Go ahead and read. Judah is a lion's whelp. Uh -huh. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Judah is a lion's whelp. Who is this lion's whelp here? You know who it is? This is Jesus. You know, it is even written over in, uh, in uh, 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 Revelations about Jesus being the lion of the tribe of Judah. That is what he's talking about here. That is who he's dealing with here. Judah he said is a lion. Well, if Jesus came out of Judah, that is why he's called the lion of the tribe of Judah. Keep reading. He stooped down. Uh -huh. He couched as a lion. Go ahead. And as an old lion. Uh -huh. Who shall rouse him up? Yeah, he's an old lion too because he's been around people. Okay. Throughout eternity, he has been around. 
Even as the old line. Go ahead and read on. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. In other words, he let you know the scepter will not depart from Judah, which is a royal staff. Go ahead and read on. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. You know who the real lawgiver is? Jesus. You know, he told Jesus told you, did not Moses give you the law? Let none of you keep the law. Well, Moses was considered the lawgiver because the Lord gave it unto Moses and told Moses to give it unto the people. But Jesus is the real lawgiver. None of the other prophets was called lawgivers. Right. Jesus is the real lawgiver, and Moses was called the lawgiver as well. A prophet like unto Moses, people. Go ahead, keep reading. Until Shiloh come. Until Shiloh come, and when he come, what will he do? Go ahead and read. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. And unto him will be the gathering of the people. Just like Moses gathered the people, this shallow, who is Jesus, this lion of the tribe of Judah, he will gather the people. Start reading at, uh, let's go to uh, Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11. And we will pick it up at verse 1. Isaiah 11. And we'll begin reading at Verse 1. This is dealing with Jesus, people. Dealing with when he returned. Even dealing with when he will gather the people. Start reading at 11 and pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. Uh -huh. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. You know who this rod is and this branch? This is Jesus that you're reading about. That's who you're reading about. He said it's going to come out of the stem of Jesse. In other words... Down through the lineage of Jesse and David and all of those. Go ahead and read on. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Uh -huh. And the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Go ahead. The spirit of counsel and might. Uh -huh. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Go ahead. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Uh -huh. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes. Go ahead. Neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor. And reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. Go ahead. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth. And with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Well, you know he's going to do that. He's going to do that at his return. And that's what you're dealing with here. You're dealing with his return. Skip down to uh, verse 10. Go ahead and read. And in that day there should be a root of Jesse. Which uh -huh. shall stand for an ensign of the people. Well, not only is he a branch or stem that's going to come out of Jesse. But he is the root. Of Jesse as well, as it is said in Revelation. He is both the root and the offspring of David. So now he is the root and he is the branch. Go ahead and read on. To which shall the Gentiles seek, uh -huh. and his rest shall be glorious. Go ahead and read. And it shall come to pass in that day uh -huh. that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria. Well, when was the first time that he set his hand to recover them? First time he set his hand to recover them was by the hand of Moses, wasn't right. it? Mm -hmm. Well, when will be the second time he's going to set his hand and recover them? By the hand oh, of Jesus. Jesus. Only two prophets. None of the rest of them ain't gathered Israel out of right. nowhere. Mm -hmm. But these two did. Because Moses wrote that he would be a prophet like unto me. And he truly is a prophet like unto Moses. Go ahead, keep reading. Middle of 11. Go ahead and read. And from Egypt, and from Pathros, uh -huh. and from Cush, and from Elam, Go ahead. and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Go ahead and read. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, uh -huh. and shall assemble the outcast of Israel. Go ahead. And gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Now, this is, this is the one that's going to gather here. I don't know, nobody tells you about that. Mm -hmm. But he himself told you that, right. didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said, how often I would have gathered them, but they would not. But he said, they will be gathered in the day when they said, bless is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. He is the one that's going to gather. Remember some of the things that he did when he gathered, uh, when Moses gathered Israel, skip down to, uh, skip down to uh, 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 verse, uh, uh, verse 15. Go ahead and read. The Lord shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. Go ahead. And with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river. Uh -huh. And shall smite it into seven streams. Go ahead. And make men go over dry shod. Well, when Moses gathered Israel, didn't he do that? Yes, then he raised that staff up and the river went back. And Israel went through dry shod. Well, Lord going to do this thing all together the same way. Like under Moses, people. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Key read. 
And there shall be an highway for the remnant of his people, uh -huh. which shall be left from Assyria, Go ahead. like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord even compares it to the time when it came yes. up out of the land yeah. of Egypt. Like as it was in the day when he came up out of the land of Egypt. Same thing, did it by the hand of uh, Moses first. Second time, he going to do it by the hand of that prophet that Moses told you about that would be like unto him. Let's go look at something else here. Let's go over to uh let's go over to uh 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 uh, uh Jeremiah. Chapter 23. And we'll pick it up at verse 3. 23 and 3. This is Jeremiah 23. This is when the Lord will gather them the second time. This is who this is who going to do it. In case you missed it when we read it in Isaiah. Start reading at Jeremiah chapter 23, and we'll pick it up at uh, verse 3. 23 and 3. Go ahead and read, brother. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, uh -huh. and will bring them again to their folds. Go ahead. And they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. Uh -huh. And they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. You know, first time the Lord did it by the hand of Moses, and uh, and then when he and when Moses did it, he brought them to their foes. Mm -hmm. You know where their foes is? Their foes is the land of Israel. That is their foes. Moses brought them that. Now when they be gathered the second time by Jesus, they gonna be taken unto their foes. This time when they get taken unto their foes, they ain't gonna move no more. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. They done moved and moved and moved. And you know why they done moved so many times? Because they always doing the thing that God said that they were not supposed to do. And every time that they did things that God said they weren't supposed to do, they moved. But no prophet ever gathered them, people. Go ahead and read on. Verse 5. Read it. Behold. The day is come, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. Go ahead and read. And the king shall reign and prosper uh -huh. and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Go ahead and read. In his days, Judah shall be saved uh -huh. and Israel shall dwell safely. Now in his days, Judah will be saved. Israel will dwell safely. And we know that ain't today. Because ain't nobody dwelling safely in Jerusalem. I don't care who you are. Right. You ain't dwelling safely over there. But he said in his day, when he gathered Israel... They are going to dwell safely. Go ahead and read on. And this is his name whereby he shall be called. Go ahead. The Lord our righteousness. Go ahead and Therefore, read. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead and read. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, uh -huh. and from all countries whither I had driven them, Go ahead. and they should dwell in their own land. Again, Lord brought them out the first time by the hand of Moses. This last time he will bring them out by the hand of, uh, uh, of Jesus. Let's go now to... Uh, let's go now to... Uh, 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 Matthew... Chapter 2. And we'll pick it up at uh, verse 1. Matthew 2, we'll begin reading at verse 1. We're going to just take a little look here at the uh, birth of Jesus. Matthew 2 and 1. And look at and remember how it was in the day uh, when, uh, 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 when Moses was born. When Moses was born, they were in bondage on the rulers that had given the commandment that all of the men children of Israel had to be put to death. All of the, 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 the male children of Israel had to be put to death. Mm -hmm. Look at how it was uh, uh, when Jesus was born. Start reading at 2 and pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea mm -hmm. in the days of Herod the king, go ahead. behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, uh -huh. saying, go ahead. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Uh -huh. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Go ahead and read. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Now, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him, because Herod was the king of the Jews. So now here... The word that went out, there's one born king of the Jews. Well, who can this be? I'm the king of the Jews. So now he troubled 
And then all Jerusalem was troubled with him. Go ahead and read on. And when he had gathered all the chief priests uh -huh. and scribes of the people together, Go ahead. he demanded of them where Christ should be born. Uh -huh. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, uh -huh. for thus it is written by the prophet. Go ahead and read. And, though, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. Uh -huh. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Go ahead and read. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. Uh -huh. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go ahead. Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Well, Herod was lying. He wasn't ready to worship him. What he wanted right. to do was kill him. Right. That was his intentions. Because he put the word out that, you know, any male children of Israel must be put to death. Just like the word went out when Moses was born that all of the male boys must be put to death. Go ahead and read on. Verse 9. Read it. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east Go ahead. went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Uh-huh. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Go ahead. And when they saw, and when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Uh -huh. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Go ahead. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, uh -huh. they departed into their own country another way. Go ahead and read. And when they were departed, behold. The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, uh -huh. Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee. Where was, Mo where was, Mo didn't, where was Moses at? In Egypt. Did he go down into Egypt? Didn't mm -hmm. he take him down into Egypt? Yes, sir. They put him in a little boat, sent him down there into Egypt. <laughs> when he would have been killed, same thing with Jesus. He was taken down into Egypt so that his life would be spared. I ain't read that about no other prophet. Yeah, yeah. Only these two. Only the two I done read it about. Go ahead, keep reading. End of 13. Go ahead and read. And be thou there until I bring thee word. Uh -huh. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And that's what Herod was intending to do. He was trying to kill him. Just like they were trying to kill Moses when he was born. Go ahead and read on. When he, when he arose, uh -huh. he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. Go ahead and read. And was there until the death of Herod, uh -huh. that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Go ahead. Out of Egypt have I called my son. Go ahead and read. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, uh -huh. and sent forth, and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, uh -huh. and in all the coasts thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. So you had the same scenario, didn't you? During the time that Moses was uh, born and during the time that that prophet that Moses told you about was born, there would be a killing of all of the boy children in Israel. Mm -hmm. So same thing, people. Let's go and look at something else here. Let's go now. Uh, 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 to, uh, 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 let's go to Jeremiah chapter 31 and we'll pick it up at, uh, verse 31, Jeremiah 31 and we'll pick it up at verse 31, 31 and 31. Okay. Cause now Lord going to tell you about a covenant. Remember. Moses ratified the old covenant with the blood of the animals. Mm -hmm. But then the Lord has Jeremiah to write that he would make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. We're going to find out who would ratify that covenant. Start reading at verse th uh, chapter 31 and verse 31. Go ahead and read. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel Go ahead. and with the house of Judah. Uh -huh. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers Go in ahead. the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. which my covenant they break. Go ahead. Although I wasn't husband unto them, saith the Lord. Now, Lord, so I'm going to make a new covenant, not according uh, to the covenant I made with them when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. So, you know, he used Moses. 
to ratify that covenant, and he even did it with the blood of the animals. Mm -hmm. But he used Moses to do that. That was the old covenant. But the Lord said, now I am going to make a new covenant. Go ahead, continue reading, because Israel broke that one. Read. But this should be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Uh -huh. After those days, said the Lord. He said, but this will be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord. Go ahead and read on. I will put my law in their inward part uh -huh. and write it in their hearts. Now he said, this time I'm going to put my law in their inward part and I'm going to write it in their heart. Same covenant. Based on the same principles. But the Lord said, I'm going to put it this time in their heart. Whereas I did put it on the stone the first time. This time I am going to put it in their heart and in their mind. Go ahead, keep reading. And will be their God, uh -huh. and they should be my people. And I'm going to be their God, and they will be my people. Go ahead, keep reading. And they should teach no more every man his neighbor. Go ahead. And every man his brother, saying, uh, Go ahead. Know the Lord. Uh -huh. For they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said the Lord. Go ahead. For I will forgive their iniquity, uh -huh. and I will remember their sin no more. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 20. And we're going to pick it up at verse uh, 33. Show you when this Lord, uh, uh, when the Lord will make this covenant uh, with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. I mean, make it with them as a nation. Because when he made it the first time, he made it with them as a nation. Now, when Jesus came and died, that ushered in the new covenant. But now I'm going to show you when the Lord is going to make this covenant with Israel as a nation. Because he said, I'm going to make this new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Start reading at uh, Ezekiel chapter 20 and began reading at verse 33. Okay, brother, go ahead and read. As I live, said the Lord God. Go ahead. Surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. Now he's talking about Israel. Fury poured out. I'm going to rule over you. Go ahead and read. And I will bring you out from the people uh -huh. and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered. And I'm going to bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries when you were scattered. Go ahead and read on. With a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and uh -huh. with fury poured out. Lord did that same way when he brought Israel out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured mm -hmm. out. If you don't think so, ask Pharaoh. Go ahead and read. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And the Lord, look at what he said I'm going to do. When he brought them out by the hand of Moses, where did he take them? Did he the take wilderness. them into the land? No. He took them into the wilderness of the people. And what did he do with them there? He brought them into the bond of the covenant. The same thing he will do this time when he bring them. Go ahead and read. And there will I plead with you face to face. He said, I'm going to bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there even will I plead with you face to face. Lord dealt with Israel there in the wilderness, people. Mm -hmm. Even faith. Because he's going to tell you just like I did when I brought them out of Egypt. Go ahead and read on. 36. Read. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. so will I plead with you, saith the Lord God. Go ahead and read. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, uh -huh. and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. Uh, and I'm going to cause you to pass under the rod, and I'm going to bring you into the bond of the covenant. Just like I did it when I had Moses to deliver you out of Egypt. Same thing I'm going to do when Jesus deliver you out of all the countries wherein you have been scattered. Keep reading. And I will purge out from among you the rebels. Well, Lord, so I'm going to purge out from among you the rebels. Well, that's what he did with Israel, mm -hmm. didn't he? Yep. If I remember correctly, then my two old heads get in the land. So what happened to all the rest of them then? Purge they got them purged out. out right there in the wilderness. I don't know how many going to get in this time, but the Lord going to do some purging just like he did when he brought them out of Egypt by the hand of Moses. Keep reading. And them that transgressed against me. Go ahead and read. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, uh -huh. and they shall not enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So now, you know, Lord, he ratified that old covenant by the hand of Moses, even with the blood of the animals. Show you about this new covenant here, because it went in force when Jesus died. But, he, but this is when he's going to make it with Israel as a nation. When the Lord gather Israel out of all nations where they've been scattered. But for now, that new covenant is in force, and I'll show you when it went in force. Let's go to Matthew chapter 26. And we'll pick it up at, uh, at verse 26. Matthew 26. Began reading at verse 26. This is when uh, uh, 
This is when Jesus was about to die. And really when he was about to die, this is when he would give you uh, how the Passover would be kept from, from uh, that time forth. Moses, Lord used Moses to give you the first Passover, mm -hmm. didn't he? Well, now, when this Passover be changed, when the ordinance of the Passover be changed, guess who's going to change it? Jesus. Jesus. Start reading at 26 and 26. Go ahead and read. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it. Now, they were sitting there and they were eating the Passover. Then Jesus, uh, Jesus took the bread and he uh, break it and he blessed it. Go ahead and read on. And gave it to the disciples and said. Go ahead. Take, eat, this is my body. Uh -huh. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying. Go ahead. Drink ye all of it. Uh -huh. For this is my blood of the New Testament which is shared for many for the remission of sins. See what it says. This is my blood of the New Testament of the New Covenant that is shared for many for the remission of sin. When Jesus died. That would end the old covenant and that would bring in the new covenant. He used Moses to give you the Passover under the old covenant. Now he's giving you, he's changing the ordinance of the Passover under this new covenant when he died. Because some blood had to be shed in order for there to be a covenant. Start reading here at Hebrews chapter 12, you all. We're going to go to Hebrews chapter 12 and we're going to read just... Uh, one verse. Be getting there, y'all. We ain't got much to go. Uh, Hebrews chapter uh, 12. And we're going to pick it up at, uh, at verse 24. Hebrews 12. And began reading at verse 24. Okay, brother. Go ahead and read. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. See, Moses mediated the old covenant. And Jesus mediated the new covenant. What, what other, other prophets did that? None of them. Only Moses and Jesus. They're the only two. Moses mediated the old. Jesus mediated the new. Go ahead and finish that verse. And to the blood of sprinkling uh -huh. that speaketh better things than that of Abel. And to the blood of, remember, you know, Moses sprinkled the blood of the animals. But Jesus, his own blood. Because it takes blood in order for a covenant to go in force. Moses put the old covenant in force when he shed the blood of the animals. Jesus put the new covenant in force when he shed his blood. Let's go to Hebrews chapter uh, Hebrews chapter 9. And we will pick it up at verse... 14, Hebrews 9, and we began reading at verse 14, 9 and 14. Well, no, start at, uh, hmm, yeah, thank you, 11. There you go. Go ahead. But Christ being come in high priest of good things to come uh -huh. by a greater and more perfect tabernacle. Go ahead. Not made with hands. Uh -huh. That is to say, not of this building. You know, the Lord used Moses to set up that tabernacle there in the wilderness. But there's a true tabernacle. And that is the tabernacle that is in heaven. That is why when he gave the commandment to Moses, he said, see that you do it according to everything that I showed you in the mountain. Moses dealt with the tabernacle made with hand. Mm -hmm. Jesus dealt with the true tabernacle, which is in heaven. Go ahead and read on. Neither by the blood of goats and of calves. Neither by the blood of goats and of calves. Moses dealt with the blood of the goats and of the calves. But Jesus will deal with his own blood. Go ahead and read on. But by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Well, Aaron, who was... <coughs> The high priest, mm -hmm. you know, he dealt with the blood of calves and he had to go into the tabernacle that was made with hands. But Jesus went in the true tabernacle, not made with hands, really before the throne of God. That is the true tabernacle. Keep reading. 13. Read it. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer 
sprinkling the unclean, sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh. Uh -huh. How much more shall the blood of Christ, Go ahead. who through eternal spirit through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, uh -huh. purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Go ahead and read. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, uh -huh. that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. So therefore, he became the mediator of the New Testament or of the New Covenant. That by means of death, he might even redeem those that was under the first uh, covenant. So he had to die. Not only did he die for those that came in under the new covenant, but he died for those that was under the old covenant as well. Go ahead. Continue to read. For where a testament is, uh -huh. there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Go ahead and read. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all go while ahead. the testator liveth. That's why the testament didn't go into force until Jesus died. All the while that he walked around, that old testament and that old covenant was still in force. Then after he died, that ended the old covenant and ushered in the new covenant. Go ahead, keep reading. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. See, when it said the first testament, it was not dedicated without blood. What blood dedicated it? The blood of them animals. That Moses said in the day that he ratified that covenant. Go ahead, keep reading. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, uh -huh. he took the blood of calves and of goats with go, water go ahead and me. scarlet wool and hyssop uh -huh. and sprinkled both the book and all the people, go saying, ahead me. This is the blood of the testament which God hath enjoined unto you. Uh -huh. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. Go ahead, me. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. Uh -huh. And without shedding of blood is no remission. Go ahead, me. It was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these. Uh -huh. But the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. See what I said? It was necessary that the patterns of things in heaven be purified with the blood of them animals. That's why the Lord told Moses, see that you make everything according to the pattern that I showed you in the mouth. Because it was pointing to something bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, Moses was that prophet that did everything according to the pattern that had been shown him in the mouth. Mm -hmm. But it was really pointing to that prophet that Moses told you that would come. Go ahead, keep reading. Verse 24. Go ahead and read. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands. Go ahead. Which are the figures of the true. It was the figures of the truth, but this is where he entered into. Go ahead and read on. But into heaven itself, uh -huh. now to appear in the presence of God for us. So you had one prophet that did it in the old covenant with the blood of the animal. Then you had that prophet that Moses told you about that did it with his blood when he entered before the throne of God. Let's go and, and, and show you something here. Let's go to uh, 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 Hebrews. We got this one, then we got one more. Let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter 10. And we'll pick it up at verse 20. Hebrews chapter, not 20, verse 26. Hebrews 10 and 26. 10 and 26. Because Lord said now, when, that, when I send you that prophet, you better do everything that he commands you to do. Because if you don't, then I will require it of you. And then Peter wrote, that if you do not listen to that prophet, then the Lord will destroy you from among his people. Start reading at, uh, start reading at Hebrews 10 and pick it, up at, uh, pick it up at verse 26. Go ahead and read. For if we sin willfully, uh -huh. after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Go ahead and read. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. Go ahead and read. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. In other words, when you despise the law under the old covenant that the Lord used Moses to ratify, you died without mercy under two or three when in other words, when you when you were found guilty of certain sin, they just took you out there and stoned you. Mm -hmm. But now, that's when you trample under the foot the blood of them animals. But now, when you trample under the foot the blood of Jesus that ratified the new covenant, go ahead, keep reading. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye 
shall he be thought worthy who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God. So now you you know when you trod underfoot the blood of them animals, that that the old that 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 uh, that, that uh, was ratified by the blood of the animals. Now when you trample underfoot Jesus' blood, how much sore punishment he said you think you shall receive. Go ahead and read. And hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he, wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing. Uh -huh. And hath done despite unto the spirit of grace. So just let you know he told you, if you don't listen to that prophet, I'm going to require it of you. Peter went so far as to say, the Lord will destroy you from among his people if you don't listen to it. So now I tell you what, you trample on the foot the blood of Jesus, that prophet that Moses told you about. And look at what you can expect. Go ahead and read on. For we know him that hath said, uh -huh. Vengeance belongeth unto me. Go ahead and read. I will recompense, saith the Lord. Go ahead and read. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Read. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. He says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. When you trample underfoot the blood of that old covenant that was ratified by Moses that he did with the blood of the animal, they took you out there and stoned you to death. Now when you ratify the blood of that Prophet that Moses told you about, you can expect a sore punishment. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to uh, let's go over to Je uh, John chapter twelve, and we'll pick it up at verse uh, forty-four. So yes, Jesus was that prophet. Make no mistake about it, because he said uh, of uh, Moses some things that he didn't say of any of the other prophets, and he did some things with Moses that he didn't do. With any of the other prophets. Even though. Those prophets like Isaiah. And Jeremiah and Ezekiel. And all of them. They were prophets of God as well. But even as we read earlier. Long after many prophets. Had arisen in Israel. They were still looking. For that prophet. Because mm -hmm. that prophet did not come. Until Jesus came. He was that prophet. That Moses told you about. That you better hear him. And if you don't hear him. He will require it of you. He said the Lord going to put. His words in that prophet's mouth. And he's only going to speak. What the Lord command him. Start reading at. Uh, John chapter 12. And began reading at verse. 44. John 12. Verse. 44. Go ahead and read. Jesus cried and said, uh -huh. He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. See what Jesus said, one that believe on me. He don't believe on me. He believe on the one that sent me. Because somebody put these words in my mouth, and they told me what to say. And I only said what they told me to say. Go ahead and read on. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. Uh -huh. I am come a light unto the world. Go ahead. That whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Now again, Jesus said, I came as a light to the world. And the one that believe on me, he ain't going to abide in darkness. Because what he is letting you know is he came with this knowledge. And that knowledge was light. And that light even would get you eternal life. Mm -hmm. If you would hear it and do what he commands you to do. Go ahead, keep reading. And if any man hear my words uh -huh. and believe not, Go ahead. I judge him not. Go ahead. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Now he said, if any man hear my word and do not believe, I don't judge him. I didn't come to judge. I came to save the world. But he's going to tell you what's going to judge you. Go ahead and read on. He that rejected me uh -huh. and receiveth not my words. Now the one he said that will reject him and do not receive these words. Go ahead and read. Hath one that judgeth him. Hath one that judgeth him. What is that? Go the, ahead. The word that I have spoken. The, the words that I have spoken unto you. That's what's going to judge you. The words that he came with. That's what's going to judge you people. Lord got a standard that he judged you by. You know what that standard is? Them words that he sent mm -hmm. Jesus to tell you about. Go ahead, keep reading. The same shall judge him in the last day. And the same, he said, even will judge him in the last day. And if you have not obeyed that prophet, guess what your judgment's going to be? Hmm. Go ahead, keep reading. For I have not spoken of myself, uh -huh. but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. Well, the Lord told you uh, that uh, the Lord was going to put his word in that prophet's mouth, and he was only going to speak. What that prophet commands him. Go ahead. Keep reading. 
And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. And his commandment, people, is life everlasting. He came, what he came with, it'll get you life everlasting. Mm -hmm. If you will hear what that prophet said and, and do what he said, then it will get you life everlasting. But the Lord said, if you do not, then I will require it of you. Either you're going to hear what he came with and get everlasting life. And if not, Lord said, I'm going to require it of you. Go ahead, T. Reed. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, uh -huh. even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Even as I speak, the Lord said, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Because he was indeed, people, that prophet that the Lord had Moses to tell you about. You can hear him and get life everlasting, or you can reject him. And go to that other place. Thank you, and I hope that you have understood. Our Father, which art in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.